What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and I've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. If you're the owner of this vehicle, please press 1 now to speak to a customer representative. Also, we're back with episode 246 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off some of the best setups to give you some ideas and inspiration for your own setup. If you see anything you'd like today, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. But we'll kick it off now, episode 246. First up is Javelo with a really nice dual monitor setup here with the stacked orientation. Lots of green. You got Ivy off to the left side, spanning to the wallpapers, which is always a nice touch to kind of match those two colors. Really draws your eyes right to the center here. Loving the natural lighting with that big window right behind the setup, just naturally illuminating everything, looking real nice and cozy. So checking it out for the two displays, the top monitor is an LG 27 inch and the bottom one is an Acer 24 inch display. You can't really see how he has it mounted here, but I assume the top monitor is just on your standard desktop arm and the bottom one seems to be leaning backwards. You can kind of see this little like thing sticking out in the front. So I assume it's just leaning back on something. For his peripherals going all wireless here with the Keychron K3 keyboard and the Logitech G604 Lightspeed mouse. They're both sitting on a blank extended mouse pad, might be like an Amazon generic. And then for audio, we have Seal Series H wireless headset and Logitech Z207 speakers. Chilling off to the left side of his setup, you could see these little Pokemon terrariums, and it looks almost identical to the terrariums I made my groomsmen a few years ago when I got married. Um, I made them all like a little, you know, starter Pokemon terrarium with a starter Pokemon that they use because we all grew up playing it together. Thought that was cool to see. And then under the desk is the Corsair Obsidian 750D case. Inside is an Intel i7 6700K CPU with 16 gigs of RAM and an Asus Maximus 8 Hero motherboard and an EVGA GTX 960 GPU. Said I didn't really want to show off the internals because it's a bit dated, but that's a-okay. So loving the natural desk setup here. Really nice wooden desk. I love that little uh, lamp you even have there too. All the natural lighting, the plants. Really digging the vibes from this one. Continuing those good feels is Dr. Brown 07 with a dual monitor setup. This one also stacked, but in a rather different orientation because they're both mounted separately, but it's clean and organized. And again, just loving the earthy tones it has to offer. So checking it out for those two displays, the primary one on the bottom is a Dell 27 inch and then mounted above is actually a 32 inch Videocon TV. Really clean mounting job though, like damn. The top one looks like it's mounted in the wall, maybe, can't really tell. And making it pop and stand out a bit is a nice RGB light strip behind the monitor. Again, just to add some color and depth to it. Checking out some of the desktop gears, got this cool little succulent log thing going on. Then for the peripherals, got a Keychron K2 and Logitech G903 mouse. Again, going all wireless, and he also has the Xbox controller there as like a secondary peripheral. For audio, there's no headphones or headset to report on, but he does have mounted a really nice pair of speakers using the Edifier R1280T. And again, it's a great job here. They're only 100 bucks for the pair, and also he has the same mounts that I use in my setup to mount my speakers. So again, it'll all be dropped down below for you. And then checking out the PC, we have the Cooler Master H500P mesh case. Inside is a Ryzen 7 3700X CPU with an NZXT Kraken X62 AIO. Got 16 gigs of G-Skill Trident Z RGB RAM, and a Gigabyte Aorus Elite X570 motherboard, and an EVGA RTX 2080 Super for the GPU. And you can see mounted, there does appear to be a second graphics card, but uh, no information on that. He didn't really point it out, so, huh. But personally, the first thing that stuck out to me, and honestly, what makes it think so visually appealing, is the symmetry here. It is on point perfect even down to the prints and stuff and that's just what makes it you know so satisfying to look at but a great job putting this all together super clean great mounting man real good stuff oh baby now we got frothy with another clean looking setup i should have themed this some sort of you know clean and minimal edition but damn Look at this, this is kind of like a, a render almost, it's that clean. But credit where credit's due, because again, this, this is the stuff that inspires me. When I see stuff like this that looks so clean, then I'm like, is that a real photo? Is that a real setup? You know, it just makes putting these together that much better, that much more enjoyable for you guys. So Frothy's rocking our Titan Army 27 inch monitor. That is one brand I am not familiar with. You can see though, again, RGB light strip behind the display. Looks nice, adds depth, easier on the eyes. RGB light behind the backboard as well. And for his peripherals, he's a GK61 keyboard with some HyperX putting keycaps on there in white to perfectly match his mouse, the Logitech G305. Very aesthetically pleasing here. 
Then over to the audio, we got the SealSeries Arctis 5 headset with the JBL 650 wireless headphones. We can kind of switch them up, use them for different use cases. Then next to the PC mounted on each side of the monitor, you can see here the speakers, the Edifier R1280T yet again. But now inside the NZXT H210i case is a Ryzen 3 3100 CPU with a Cooler Master ML240 Lite AIO. Got 16 gigs of T-Force Delta RGB RAM on an Asus B450i gaming motherboard and the Gigabyte Aorus GTX 1660 Ti for the graphics card. Got a custom backplate on the GPU and keeping the insides nice and purple just to be extra vibrant. And a peek at the cable management underneath the desk. I assume that's a custom desk. He probably has all the cables routed through it, but man, really, really good job. So a round of applause for Frothy because man, this, this manages to be clean and minimal and like futuristic, but also kind of like cozy and inviting at the same time. It floats a very fine line and it does it very, very well. Ooh, speaking of warm and inviting, now we've got this guy. Uh, I don't know how to say that name, I'm, I apologize, but I believe we had him on a few years ago. And the flow to this setup is undeniable. Each setup kind of leads perfectly into the next. And I am loving the way this is laid out. Really nice desk and gaming setup here in the room. Huge window and then a massive entertainment center as well. So this is the best of both worlds. Lots of earthy tones with the plants, the entertainment center's wooden, the desk is wooden, the backboard there. Digging the prints mounted above the TV as well. But let's check out the desk setup. And he's rocking a 34 inch MSI optics gaming monitor. And I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but beautifully mounted. And again, another RGB light strip behind it for that depth and separation. And for the peripherals, this is like a first time ever, but we have yet again another Keychron keyboard with the K6, Logitech MX Master 3 mouse, and for the third or fourth time now, the Edifier R1280T speakers. So these are under $100. I'm going to buy them now because everyone's got them. This, this is the Edifier edition. Might be a good addition to Cooltech under 100 coming up. Who knows? And then underneath his desk, he does have a PC. He said uh, it's not worth, you know, talking about or showing off, so we don't have any really information on it. But that is the Cooler Master Storm Striker case. And then for the massive TV, I'm checking now, I actually don't have a size on it, but it uses the NVIDIA Shield Pro and a Plex server here to, you know, watch movies, TV, all that stuff on here. And I assume, you know, console gaming would be pretty badass as well, but I don't see any consoles. Listen, it doesn't matter. He could be hooking up uh, a Nintendo 64 on this and it would still look badass probably. So big, big ups for this one. The ultimate entertainment room, fantastically massive TV, really nice desk setup as well. Like I said, this one's got it all. Nice and warm and cozy as well. And then last but not least is Joseph, keeping it simple with a single monitor here. But we got some nice and punchy colors here. I like the orange and the blues and the wallpaper, orange matching to the PC, and also just that deep wooden tone he has in the desk. That's really rich looking. What kind of stain is that? Give me, give me the hookup on your stain guy. My guy ran dry, who's your plug? But now for his monitor, he has an HP 24 inch. It's 144 hertz, one millisecond display. He has one of those LED light bars mounted above the monitor and also an RGB light bulb in his actual lamp to throw some extra color. Then checking out his main peripherals, the keyboard is the Drevo Caliber V2. He also has a Moto Speed numpad with some extra keycaps on there. And the SteelSeries Rival 650 mouse on a felt extended mouse pad. And then for audio on a little hanger mounted inside the drawer, which I thought was a good idea, is the HyperX Cloud 2 gaming headset. But now for the PC, inside the Deepcool MacCube 110 Micro ATX case. That's, that sounds very weird to say, Deepcool MacCube. Why does that sound like a tongue twister? But he has a Ryzen 5 2600 CPU with 16 gigs of XPG Spectrix RAM on an Asus B550M Tough Wi-Fi motherboard and an XFX RX 5900, nope, 590 GPU. It's been a long day, people. Cut me some slack. But this one's nice and moody in the best of ways. Again, I've said it a hundred times so far, but loving the earthy tones. It's been a consistent theme this episode. But whenever you see like a, you know, blues and oranges mixed together in a setup, it just, it makes you feel good, you know? And this one does just that. All right, guys, that'll wrap it up for episode 246 of Room Tour Project. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up, show your support, and don't forget, Everything you saw will be listed for you in the description down below, as well as some very simple instructions on how to submit your setup. 
Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.